Hi, my name is Kristen and welcome to the Trusted Tech Team blog. This is where you'll find news, updates, and video tutorials on everything from Office 365 to Remote Desktop, SQL, and Exchange Server. This video is second in a three-step series around the process of setting up a Remote Desktop Server. In our last video, we provided an in-depth tutorial for installing the roles onto your server. Today, we'll continue on with the steps of installing your RDS cals. So let's jump right in. You'll want to start by opening the Server Manager. This can be done by clicking the Start menu and selecting the Server Manager icon. You can also find this in the Windows Administrative Tools folder. Next, select Remote Desktop Services in the left-hand pane, followed by Servers. Right-click the server listed and select RD Licensing Manager. Alternatively, head to Tools at the top right corner of the Server Manager then down to Remote Desktop Services, and within that drop-down menu, select RD Licensing Manager. Now we will activate the license server. This can be done by right-clicking the server you'd like to add CALS to and selecting Activate Server. If you don't see the desired server, you can expand the server shown by clicking on the plus sign next to All Servers. You will now see the Activate Server wizard. Click Next to proceed. The connection method can be left as Automatic Connection if the server is in an offline environment, you may choose the phone or web browser option. Click Next to continue. Here, you'll come across a company information page. This is where the end user's information should be entered. Continue on through these steps. Once you've completed the Activate Server Wizard, you will be prompted to start the Install Licenses Wizard with a checkbox. Click Next to proceed. You can also start the Install Licenses wizard by right-clicking on the server and selecting Install Licenses. You will now see the Install Licenses wizard. Upon reaching the License Program page, you will be prompted to select the License Program. Choose the option that matches how the CALs are purchased. If you have an authorization and license number, select Open License. This is the method we'll be using in today's example. Hit Next to proceed. Enter the licensing associated with your CALs in the fields provided. Once complete, click Next to continue. Now select the current version of Windows Server, followed by the applicable license type. We'll go with user CALs for this example. Once selected, enter the quantity of licenses you would like to apply and proceed by hitting Next. The status should indicate success. Click Finish. And perfect, you've just completed step two of getting your remote desktop server ready for use. All that's left is to configure the group policy. You can find steps for that in our next video, linked in the description. And be sure to check out the other videos and guides on our blog. We post new content every week.